The Democratic Alliance has announced incumbent Twane Mayor Mr. Solim Simange is its Gauteng premieral candidate for the 2019 polls. The party is looking to win outright the country's economic heartland and needs to break the ANC's dominance in the province's major townships to do so. Simange has been a DA member for 14 years now. Nine candidates applied to the position with the most prominent among them being Simanga. Gauteng MPLs Mahashule Ghana and Khaleb Khashalia, as well as national spokesperson Rifilwin Cheke. The party is looking to win the country's economic heartland outright in next year's provincial as well as national elections. In other DA news, the DA in Dishabeng municipality in the Free State has filed a motion of no confidence in the speaker David Lingwabala. DA Council in the municipality, Rojan Tlapo, says the municipality is under financial distress and has failed to provide proper service delivery. Well, the Honorable City of Twane May and Gauteng Premier-elect Mr. Solim Simanga joins us in studio to talk to us about his recent or latest election. Mr. Mayor, what a pleasure. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. It's good to be with you. Thank you so, so much for joining us. Look, first of all, congrats on your election. But why do you believe you were chosen uh, to, uh, uh, for this top uh, uh, post? What fresh leadership ideas are you bringing to this position? Sure. Um, thank you very much. Um, I think there's been a number of... Uh, reasons why I had been approached and why I had accepted nomination. One, um, having worked in the structures of the party, um, understanding where the party wants to take uh, South Africa, mm -hmm. but also having had an opportunity to not be um, working in opposition while at the legislature and in council, but also being in government, uh, you know, in, in, in the city of Tswane, understanding yeah. what it will take um, to really get us there. And mm -hmm. I think uh, the party thinks that what we have started doing in Tswane, uh, if we can amplify it at the provincial level, will uh, put us in a good stead to really take over uh, the, the province of Gauteng and then indeed to, to, to demonstrate at a provincial level what can be done mm -hmm. as we take South Africa forward. Absolutely. You didn't mention your 14 years as, a, as an actor. <laughs> There, Mr. Mayor, but what happens then with your current post? Do you campaign for uh, for the for for the mayoral uh, for 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 the uh, for the premier position while you are the mayor? Mm. And uh, please let's understand the two centers of power and how the uh, the one and the two are going to work. All right, I will continue to be the the the, the mayor of yes. the city. Uh, we will prioritize uh, what we need to prioritize. Um, you know, and saving our people as best as we should be saving our people. Mm -hmm. um, you would know uh, the premier, uh, the, the incumbent premier will, will also be campaigning as he'll be doing his job. The president Absolutely, will be yeah. campaigning as he'll be doing his job. Uh -huh. So we'll be doing that as well. Um, there's a strong team that we, we, we're putting around us uh, that will assist us in campaigning and we'll do what needs to be done, um, you know, in saving our people, but also in making sure that our structures and our, our activists are out there on the streets every day com uh, communicating what our message and our value offer is. Mm. Um, to the people of Gauteng and hopefully will win the minds and the hearts of the people. Mm, so the, you won't be neglecting your other duties, Mr. No, May. Is that what you're promising us? No, ma'am. We'll <laughs> not do that. And, uh, you know, to add to that is that uh, I've got a very strong uh, mayoral committee team that also is able to do the functions on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. um, as I'm focusing on, you know, providing vision, making sure that we're able to play on oversight in what happens in the municipality, yes. but also allocating um, uh, functions uh, you know, to my MMCs and to my officials to do what needs to be done. Absolutely. Look, let's now talk about the recent public dance in the DA's image. You know I was going to bring this up leading <laughs> up to, of course, next year's, po uh, next year's polls. Many still feel that the party uh, doesn't have an outright stance when it comes to the issue of land. Talk to us about that, sir. Well, I think what we have done in Swan is to demonstrate what we mean when we talk about uh, issues of uh, ownership of land. Yeah. We believe that uh, there should be ownership of land on individual right, right? So you should own land in your, in your individual capacity. Absolutely, yeah. It cannot be that uh, you're talking about now the state owning land. That means now all, all you're saying is that uh, you, you are now paying for a bond. The land doesn't belong to you. What happens when the term of the bond um, finish? Yeah. So you're still not owning that. You cannot now use that as collateral should you want to go and raise uh, capital. Mm. So we are saying that is not the best of ways uh, that, should be go, uh, that, that we should be embarking on. Mm -hmm. We as the city of Swanee have started a, a program where we are actually um, allocating stands. And we are now moving towards be giving people title, title deeds to those deeds, things. Yeah. So you own the land in your own right. So it, there's no uncertainty there. So that's what we've started demonstrating. That's what we want to make sure that we push going forward. Mm. So um, we, we, we as clear as it should be, uh, as can be on the issue of uh, expropriation of land. And we're saying, let's start with available land. Let's do, an let's do an audit on land in which 
land we want to use uh, for residential, which land we want to use for business, which land we want to use um, then for agricultural, for agricultural purposes. purposes. Once yeah. you have done that, then you're able to then plan your way backwards. And I'm, you know, I've heard. I mean, we've we've participated in some of the the the, the public the hearings, hearings, yeah. And you hear people are asking questions about what is the plan, what Absolutely. is your plan. Once mm -hmm. now you've taken this land, what is your plan? And we have seen some devastating effects of reckless announcements that have been mm. made. So now people are grabbing on land. So this week, uh, you know, a group of people will grab land and say, well, the president says, we, 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 you know, we're going to get the land. But I think the EFF has also now said, yeah. um, uh, grab any piece of land. And then what happens two weeks later? The people are blocking the roads and protesting for services. That's true. But Mr. Mayor, then uh, I think a lot of people are get confused by, uh, by the term that uh, the land should be kept under government power. Is that mm. the stance of the DA? No. Um, we are saying that land should be individually owned, right? So we are saying you, you need to address the imbalances of the past. That's, that we agree with, yeah. where people have been dispossessed. So that is something that needs to be addressed. But you need to then take it a step further and say, how do I address that if I'm not going to have empower an individual to be an owner in their own right? Absolutely. And that's what we are proposing to say, let people be owners in their own right. Mm -hmm. So we are saying, for instance, farmers, people who have been generations on a particular farm, let them be beneficiaries of what is happening there on that particular farm. Mm -hmm. that, that way you're not only having people occupying a land, but they are also now um, able to earn a living out of that particular yeah. uh, piece of land. And I think that's where we want to be taking this. I mean, we have seen failed um, examples of uh, expropriation without... Zimbabwe. Uh, uh, Zimbabwe is uh, but an example. And we've seen a number of uh, areas, again, uh, you know, where land has been expropriated, no compensation, no plan, and then you then have people with expertise leaving those particular uh, 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 pieces of land. Mm. And then you have um, crisis after that. And we cannot afford that as South Africans. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's talk about the other issues uh, that I, I had mentioned, Mr. Bear, the racial and equality topic within a party. It seems to be quite a topical one. Mm. And we've seen some divides within the party because people are, are going in two separate ways when it comes to this. What are you trying, uh, what are you going to do then to bring these two uh, opinions together to form one opinion that is of the DA? Well, there is one opinion of the DA. The, the opinion of the DA is that to, we, we, we are uh, but one um, uh, uh, party. One party. Uh, we are representing the interest of all South Africans. We don't represent the interest of black South Africans, white South Africans, Indian South Africans, colored South Africans, but all South Africans. And that means that you have to recognize that there are injustices of the past that also needs to be addressed. That means that uh, you don't necessarily um, you know, have to take from one to give to the other and call that uh, uh, redress. What you yeah. need to do is to create a platform in which everybody, everybody will be able benefits. to live together and will be able to benefit. I think mm. that's where we now, um, as, the, as, the, as, the, the, as the party, we are saying we're moving towards. I mean, you talk about this issue that has been raised, uh, this BEE as an example. Yeah. We are saying, as a democratic alliance, the current implementation of, uh, of, of, of uh, the, the economic uh, empowerment is failing dismally because it's only enriching a few connected people. That's true. At the, at the expense of the majority. That's and true. you know, it's, it's getting to a point where it's becoming explosive. It will explode in our face where the inequality is growing. So we haven't really addressed the issues of inequality. What we have done is to create a new um, group of elites with a different, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, color to Mind, it. Yeah. So what we now need to do is to then say, how do we then ensure that um, um, when we talk about addressing the issues of equality and issues of empowerment, especially for black people, that we're talking about empowerment that is broad, mm -hmm. that is talking about ensuring that, uh, you know, I don't have to be uh, a, a, a child of so-and-so, a comrade of so-and-so to be able to then benefit out of, yeah. out of deals. But I can then uh, ensure that a broader community is able to then benefit. Mm -hmm. I think that's where we now need to be moving. All right. Let's now talk about uh, your contentious relationships, the current contentious relationships with the coalition partners. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you're looking to, uh, to, to, to do in the near future, say the 2019 elections, should you not uh, win Gauteng outright or the other metros that you're gunning for? <laughs> uh, that's a very <laughs> Based interesting... Based on what has been happening, yes, Mr. Mayor. Yes, that's a very interesting <laughs> one. But uh, you would know that... Uh, we, we have a track record of being able to pull, um, you know, the, the voting partners and those that are in coalition with us um, to a table and we are able to then get uh, issues resolved. I mean, 
um, when uh, the, the city of Tswane put its budget. And twice in a year, it was voted for. The first year, it was voted for with everybody, including the opposition, voting for mm. it. The second time, yes, uh, we had people abstaining. But, uh, you know, the people that we were able to call around the table and say, what are the issues? Because my belief is that in South African politics, we're moving towards um, a, a stance where we need to put people at the center of everything that we do. Yeah. So at, at times, you need to, 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 to forget about your, 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 your let's say, your party interest for a bit and say what is in the interest of the, the, uh, the collective. Mm. And then once you're able to then bring people around the table and say, let's hear you out. What are your issues? How do we then incorporate it into the bigger scheme of things? What are my issues? How are we able to reach a compromise? And I think that's where South African politics are going to be moving mm. towards. I mean, let's look at your coalitions. I mean, we've got squabbles where, w with, of course, uh, uh, Ethel Tollip, who's now going back to uh, that motion of no confidence. It was failed. It's back and forth to court. I mean, are you looking to then, would you go into bed with these very same parties that you went to bed with, should you need them uh, uh, to, to, to take uh, Gauteng or the other metros in the, in the upcoming elections? Well, I think uh, the, 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 the current uh, uh, Relationships. Um, uh, period yeah. is teaching us a, a, a whole lot of things. Yeah. Um, and that tells us that if you are going to go into a, co uh, a coalition, um, uh, a coalition um, uh, a discussion, you need to make sure that you'll iron out a whole lot of things yeah. up front. Um, which I think and this time around we were caught a little bit uh, uh, by surprise that you know you have uh, this situation that is happening you now have to put these things together. Yeah and it's a I first think going, of its kind yes. in South Africa yeah. Yes and I think in, in Africa if, if I'm not mistaken I don't think there is a, a in, an African uh, 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 government uh, that had uh, had to, to, to run you know with a number of yeah. parties uh, putting government <laughs> together so we you learn quite a lot and I think uh, um, looking even at, uh, at what is happening, um, take what is happening in Germany as an example. Mm -hmm. um, even in matured governments, uh, uh, they, they still, or in matured democracies, they yeah. still are battling with the issues of how do you then bring um, coalition governments together. But I think it's something that, uh, um, first of its kind, in, uh, in, in on <laughs> African soil, exciting. You're not writing it off. Uh, come again? You're not writing it no, off. No, no, you can't write it off. Mm. I mean, I think that is going to be the future of, uh, of, 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 of South African of, of South politics. politics. Mm. We want to win outright. Um, we want to win outright. Uh, that will be the first prize. But we cannot rule out uh, the possibility of engaging um, should we not be able to... Mr. To Mayor, no, my director wants to kill me, but I really want to get your closing uh, statements on the key priority areas that you believe need to be looked at to ensure that uh, there's improvements in the lives of Gauteng residents, issues of housing. You did mention yeah. earlier on uh, unemployment and corruption, particularly at local government yeah. level, sir. I think what we've learned uh, at, a, at, a, at a local government is that if the province is not assisting in coordinating what you are doing as munis municipalities, you're not going to be able to get yeah. it right. So we are saying let's fight um, the, the scourge of corruption and make sure that money is spent where the people are so that it can benefit the people. We're saying let's feed the South African police services so that we can deal with the issues of infrastructure damage, mm -hmm. that we don't keep reinvesting money um, you know, to fix, which shouldn't have been vandalized in the first place. Let's deal with the issues of drug while we're dealing with the issue of... Uh, of, 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 of crime so that uh, when you do when you're talking about uh, South African police services you're incorporating a whole lot of things that needs to be sorted out professionalizing the service ensuring that the service uh, is, fair, is, is, is is properly equipped and be able to respond um, to the to the needs of the people mm -hmm. the third thing we're talking about creating a fair um, uh, access to jobs and an, an enabling environment where people will be able to access jobs people will be able to access business opportunities so the fourth thing that we're talking about is the, the fight of uh, the schedule of drugs I think that is on its own. Houting has seen its fair share yeah. of, of, of young people mm -hmm. robbed of a great opportunity or great future because of uh, the schedule of, uh, of, of drugs that has been taking place. Yeah. And the fifth thing is the um, a speedy um, a delivery of services. We are moving in the city of Tswane. Johannesburg is moving um, and other uh, uh, mid -val. But yeah. we now need to make sure how do we consolidate and how do we, um, as Houting now, assist municipalities to move forward in delivering better services. So this will form part of your career your campaign and Indeed. manifesto. Mr. M Mr. Msimanga, thank you so, so much for your time, sir, and best of luck with your electoral campaign. That is uh, the mayor of the city of Tswane, His Excellency Mr. Solim Msimanga, joining us live here in studio, talking to us about, among other things, his election as the party's preferred premier candidate come next year's elections.